What's up you guys? It's Lauren and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Bye. 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 So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some jeans that I got from Abercrombie & Fitch. Whenever I think of Abercrombie & Fitch, I think of me in 7th and 8th grade going to the mall with my friends and our moms and going in Abercrombie & Fitch and just wanting every single thing in the store. The lighting's super dark, the music's loud, it feels like you're in a club and you get hit with the smell of the Abercrombie and Fitch perfume and cologne and it is just such a nostalgic memory. So I was very surprised to see that Abercrombie and Fitch was making a comeback because after probably eighth grade, I feel like the company kind of fell off. I don't know if it's because we got older and the store wasn't really progressing with our specific age group that used to shop at the store but on TikTok recently I've been seeing reviews of the jeans and girls being like you have to get these jeans they're the best jeans so I was like I have to go back in the store and see if the hype is real but I ended up buying two pairs of jeans and I'm going to be reviewing those for you today it is very very hard for me to find jeans just because I'm so tall that was a huge issue when I was younger I always hated that I could never find jeans that were long enough for me. It would always cut off at a really weird spot on my ankle and it would make me feel like a nerd. Like I did not like having my ankle showing. And I found that I couldn't really move around in the jeans. It was like very stiff. If you wanted to sit down, it was like, I hope these don't rip. So those were kind of the things that I was looking out for when I went back to Abercrombie and Fitch. And I actually ended up going twice because the first time that I went, it was the same problem. The jeans were too short, they fit my ankles weird. I will say they were more flexible, but it was just the main thing. It was like almost traumatic. I'm like, they don't fit right on my ankles, they're too short. I feel like a little kid again, I hate this. And then I vented about it on my Instagram as usual. And then a bunch of my friends were like, no, like, a lot of people order online so you can get the specific size because they were out of a lot of sizes in store probably because everyone is going to buy their jeans right now. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it another shot. So I waited like I think two weeks so they could do a restock and then I went back in and I got super lucky. I found some jeans that fit me great. They fit my ankles. Um, a great thing about Abercrombie is they do the sizing and they include the length so you can get like a regular size or you can get a long size for the length if you're longer like me. So if you do try going back to Abercrombie and & Fitch and the jeans are not fitting right, don't completely hate on it right away because that's what I did. I would go online and look for a specific size that works for you and I think you will end up finding a bomb pair of jeans. So now I'm going to talk about the jeans that I purchased. I think the jeans that I purchased are the ones that everyone is like hyping up. I don't know if I got the specific style because the ones I've been seeing um, have cuts in the knees. These ones don't. I just wanted regular jeans but they're super cute and I'm excited to show them to you guys. First up we have the 90s straight ultra high rise jeans and I got these in the black denim color and I believe these are a size 27 for regular so I didn't get the long length in these and they actually fit me really well um, so what I love about their jeans recently is they give this super vintage look it almost looks like um, some Levi's that you would find at a thrift shop I love the vintage looking jeans um, but these fit amazing and the quality is actually really really good these are actually the pants that I wear to work every single weekend and I get so many compliments on them and I'm running around like crazy at work so if I can wear these jeans and run around like crazy and still be comfortable that is saying something about these jeans right here but as you can see like the black color it's not just like black like it has almost like this certain wash on it that makes it look kind of worn which I like that kind of look these fit super nice around the waist. They hug everything just right. I think these jeans are perfect for fall. I love styling black denim um, for the fall and winter season because, I mean, it's black. You can pair anything with it. And if you want to dress up fancier but not wear like something super, super nice, I always wear black jeans because I feel like that's just a good alternative. Blue jeans can sometimes look a little bit too casual, but if you wear a black jean, um, it makes your outfit look more dressy. So that's why I like to have at least one pair of black jeans in my wardrobe. 
So next up, I got the 90 Straight Ultra High Rise Curve Love Jeans. So um, these are different from the other ones because they have Curve Love in the title, which I'm assuming it kind of just like... I'm assuming it just fits better to the body. Um, so the other jeans were like a straight cut and these ones are like a curvy cut. <laughs> I got these jeans in a 27.4 regular as well, which... Honestly, I'm normally a 28 in jeans and a size 6 regular, so I was like super shocked that I fit into a 4. I was honestly really hype about it because I'm like, okay, like I don't know if their sizing's different or if I've slimmed down a little bit on my waist, but regardless, I'm happy that I fit in a 27, so there you go. This denim color is my absolute favorite denim color, the light wash jeans. I absolutely love, and these... Here, let me button, or let me zip these so they look a little bit, like, more profesh. But the light wash jeans, like, you can't tell me these don't look vintage. They are so cute. Um, again, what I was trying to say earlier, it's got a little bit of fraying on the hem. And then in the back, I don't know if there was, like, supposed to be a tag here or if it's just meant to be blue. But whenever there's, like, a little tag right here, it always just makes it seem vintage. So... Love that little effect right there. Um, and then in the back pockets, there is some distressed denim fabric. There is a little bit of distressing. I literally don't know how to make a sentence out of this. But it is a little bit frayed on the pockets. So what is unique about these ones is there is a slit in the ankle part. I thought that was super cute, just like something a little bit different, but nothing too crazy. I think the slit looks really cool whenever you wear sneakers and it kind of like, you know how it like lays open on both sides and then there's like a little opening? Um, I think that looks really cool. I just can't get over how much these look like my actual vintage Levi's that I have. Absolutely loving Abercrombie and Fitch's comeback. All right, I'm going to put these on so you can see what they look like. Okay, so in order for you guys to be able to see my jeans, I have to film in my living room so I can stand far enough back from the camera. Um, but as you can see, these are so cute. They fit just right around the waist, nothing too snug. You still have a little bit of space. These are literally the perfect pair of black jeans. I wear these to work every single weekend and they are so comfortable. More of the stories, I love these jeans, look vintage, super cute, love the black denim, great for the fall. So here are the blue denim jeans. I, I really just love these jeans. They're my new go-to pair that I grab out of my closet for everyday wear. They literally look vintage and as I said, it's the specific like curve love line and it literally just makes me look so curvy you can definitely tell the difference from these jeans and the last jeans um with the curve difference um that last ones were just super straight you can tell on these i think they hug the thighs a little bit tighter than the other one um and then the bottom if you can see the slit right here that's definitely different than regular jeans but super cute they hug everything just right Lift in the booty, we love that. Do a little 360 for you so you can see how bomb these jeans look. <laughs> so, in conclusion, I am loving the comeback that Abercrombie and Fitch is having, but the price of Abercrombie's jeans is a little bit pricey, but I think it's a good investment in your closet. I have many good investments in my closet, but I truly do because you wear jeans all the time and these are gonna last you for a really really long time just because the quality is so amazing um, so I think it's worth it for a long-term investment I have lots of long-term investments in my closet make sure you hit the bell button so you're notified every time that I post a new video also make sure to subscribe to my channel it truly means the world to me I don't know how many times I can say it also make sure to like and comment on this video thank you all so much for your support and I will see you next week with a new video peace